Tom is packing his overnight bag for our trip to the oldest room for us in the world. And I'm just reading him this list here that Uncle Brian's have emailed us telling us what to bring. So Tom, a small overnight bag. Catchy. Number two, sense of fun. Does that mean I can't go? <laughs> Look at that. Okay, next, are you actually ready? Yeah. Sunscreen, a raincoat, swimming gear, a towel, walking shoes, a change of warm clothes. Hold on, the last Slow one. Down. Hold on, the last one. A smile and a good singing voice. And your singing voice? Look at the stars. <laughs> Lights will ga ha 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 ha. You, um... <laughs> if you can name that British sitcom, we can be best friends. Anyway guys, we're heading to the Daintree Rainforest. It is the oldest rainforest in the world. We are doing a two day, one night overnight trip with Uncle Brian, who have very kindly gifted us this tour. We are super excited. They're one of the most famous tours to do this kind of thing with. They essentially take you up into Cape Tribulation and also the Atherton Table, I think they're called. That could be wrong. I'm gonna put a screenshot of the exact tour that we're doing up on screen, but they are definitely without doubt the most famous here in Cairns. They have been doing it for a while. They promise so much good stuff. We're gonna see crocodiles, we're gonna see wallabies, I think, so many other animals, creatures, creepy crawly, scary things that you find in Australia. But I'm so, so excited. I'm not gonna waffle on for too long, but a huge- You're already waffling. I'm not, I'm not waffling. A huge thank you and a huge shout out to Uncle Brian's. If you are ever up in Queensland and you fancy doing anything you see in this vlog, of course, I will link them the top line in the description. We are super excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Tom hasn't found his sense of fun yet. It's not in his bag, but he is gonna be bringing it. It's gonna well, be I a- I can find where I put it. He just has to relocate it. I think the it's called- with traveling, you lose things along the way. That's that's the first thing you lose. <laughs> a lot of the time. I think it's called a good night's sleep. So we're gonna pick you up in the morning when we're setting off bright and early. I need you to reread me the list as well. Please. I know, I will reread you the list. We're gonna properly pack now, but I just thought I'd read it out in case you too are heading to Cape Tribulation and you need to know what to bring on your Uncle Brian's tour. Honestly though, seriously, on a serious level, the itinerary looks insane. So how it works is basically that the Uncle Brian tour pick you up from wherever you're staying and then take you up into the Atherton table and I'm so sorry about the bird noise I'm still sort of in a rainforest but it adds to the overall effect we came to our first stop at about 9am so it was a pretty early start heading to stop number two so this is Josephine Falls, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. It's quite famous in Cairns, I'd actually already heard of this. We are at Josephine Falls. I think I did just say this, but I'm not sure how much you will have heard. I'm also not sure why the camera's not focusing. But we're about to- It really struggles with the focus. It really does struggle and it's, it's new as well. <laughs> we're heading down to the part where you can go swimming. So I think there's like a big, big water, well there is a big waterfall, but I think there's like a big place where you can actually swim as well. Um, we're basically with quite a big group. How many of us would you say there is, like 20? Yeah, well, it's a full bus, so... Yeah, that's true. Over 20, I'd say, yeah. Yeah, it's a really nice mix of people. The group seemed really lovely. We literally just met them all this morning, so it is brand new people, but... Yeah, we're gonna head down, we're gonna go for a swim. I was gonna say I might sunbathe for a bit, but I feel like the sun has gone in. I don't think we're gonna be staying here long enough to do that anyway. Staying here for an hour. Oh, we're in okay. Yeah, so I'm hoping I can catch some rays, because I don't feel like I'm that tanned yet. But yeah, we're currently in the rainforest, guys. Look at this, magic. Terrible focus on the camera. We're a little bit soggy. It's raining a lot, so I'm filming on my phone. I went for an actual swim, I didn't, but I looked like I did. There was a cool little, like, waterfall. waterfall. Sort of. I um, really wish I'd had um, another one. What are they? There's these, like, cockerels, guys, with red necks. I don't know what they're called. Chickens. They look like chickens a bit. I wish I had my, um, my camera out when you were going down the slide, because yeah. I was just sat watching from it the other fun. side. It was fun. A lot of people came off it injured, and thankfully and miraculously, I didn't. Somehow. Which is, uh, a first for me. A real first. Um, a miracle. A Cairns but miracle. But then on the way out, I did kick a rock. And now he's cut his swings foot. And so I swing some roundabout. Anyway, we're heading back to the bus. We've got another drive. And then I think we're going for some lunch, which is exciting because I'm hungry. So then we got back on the bus and headed to our lunchtime stop. I was particularly excited about this. I was very hungry. Also, there was a very cute dog. So, you know, it was a win-win really. Um, but yeah, guys, honestly, it started to downpour. I've genuinely never seen rain like this other than maybe in like Florida. And even then, I'm not sure I've ever seen rain quite like this. It was insane. And it did kind of put a little bit of a downer on it, but we tried to not let it get, get our spirits down. We went to the Mila Mila waterfall, which is pretty famous for the Herbal Essences advert and also support supposedly the Peter Andre Mysterious Girl music video, but it did continue to rain. Eventually we headed to the hostel we were staying at that night. 
we have just arrived at our hostel for the evening. I look a little bit sunburned. I also look so bedraggled. I have never needed a shower, potentially more in my life. How much do I stink? Oh, it's awful. She smells like a sweaty bum crack. <laughs> it's really bad. Right, I was you know, gonna... like you know, like when your towel gets really stinky, like you, when you've like when you, you've, you've stood you've, on you've, it, you've, when it's just been not dried and yeah. aired properly, and the, it has that the musky towel that smell. you use as the like, like a sweaty bum. No, That's it doesn't. It doesn't. Like. It just smells like damp. It sort of also smells like a wet dog. But this is. The hostel's called On the Wallaby and it's in a village slash town called Yanabara. I'll put it on screen because I'm not too sure. How do you remember these things? Because I'm always making a mental <laughs> note. There is 21 of us staying here. We're in a room of eight tonight. Luckily, everybody is so lovely. Don't we have such a nice group of people? We do have a really nice group of people. And fortunately, randomly in this room, there is a double bed. Actually, a queen bed. So Tom and I have this bed because we're the only couple in this room. I mean, it's really bizarre that in like kind of like a hostel room. Yeah, bed, because look at the rest of the room. Six, there's six bunk beds, which is normal. And so fortunately, we get that bed. Yeah, because they were like, oh, Molly and Tom. You're a couple, you can have that bed. But behind us is like bunk bed, bunk bed, bunk bed. So there's this room of eight, there's a room of six, and there's a room of four. Yeah, it's not too bad. I've thoroughly, thoroughly checked, guys, with Tom for Huntsman spiders. We've seen a lot of spiders today, and my phobia is on a new level. I can't even tell you how scared of spiders I actually am since our time in the Philippines. Like, I was moderately to excessively frightened of spiders before Asia. Now I would say it consumes my thoughts at least every single day. But every day I'm thinking of spiders. I have nightmares. You don't need to think about them, just figure it out. Especially in this country. Everybody I talk to is like, why have you moved to Australia then? And I'm like, yeah. because I love the country. The longer we're here, the longer I am questioning why you have chosen Australia. Because I love this country and I loved my experience here last time. Yeah, but you think the fear that you have of spiders would put you off that? That would be more than No, the I'm of the absolutely adamant that it shouldn't put me off it and I shouldn't let fear like rule my life. Well, so if you can put that to a side, you can put it to a side when you're sleeping. Just forget about it. I'm not gonna sleep very well tonight. I've accepted it and it's okay. I've you got, got a double bed. Double bed and a bottle of wine. <laughs> Crucial things. Yeah. Firstly though. Ow. Oh, sorry. Whacked me. Firstly, though, we're gonna go play Uno. There are like a few of the group haven't gone out on the night activity, Tom and I it's, included. Um, it's canoeing, which I've done before, which is really fun. But basically, it, because it's actually raining, we won't. The, the chance of seeing anything is so slim, it's not really worth it. Plus, we've just been like wet, dry, wet, dry all day, and yeah. it's just a bit like. We've basically a tired now. spent a lot of the day like cold and wet, and yeah. we were like, oh, we could go out on the river. But also we're just going to get more yeah, cold and wet. We're just going to get soaked and I've just dried off and I just feel like well, it's not really worth it. And even the tour guide was like, you're not really going to see no. it. No, Charlie ending, is so. our tour guide. If you ever do this on Club Brian's tour, we have Charlie. He is amazing. But he also was like, oh, by the way, the canoes are filled with spiders. So I was like, ha, ha. no. So we're going to go play Uno and that's going to be our night. Not just us, there's about six of us. There's a few of us left. Yeah. Maybe we ten. Yeah, we're gonna go downstairs, whack this out. We do, however, have this guy, little resonant gecko. It's quite big, actually. There's a lot of bugs in here, guys. Oh, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. I'm so glad I've made friends. Hi. Look, look at this little bubba. So inquisitive. Are you climbing up me? Are you climbing up me? Good morning guys from this beautiful scenery. We are rock wallaby feeding at the moment. This is just so beautiful. And there goes the bus. I really hope it's not leaving without me. What are we doing? Crocodile. Hunting? No, 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 not hunting. Crocodile tour. Crocodile tour. We're gonna find some crocs. Actually not hunting anything at all. No. Have a yawn, just a big oh. yawn. Oh my god. Now, you notice he's got these pinkish lumps on his back? That's from when he was injured in a fight years and years and years ago. And some tissue from underneath has gone and uh, sort of extruded itself out from the, the wound. Seen two crocodiles. Two. Don't forget to scream. Don't forget, oh my god, I forgot about that stuff. Two crocodiles and survived is what I was going to say. Planet was going into the next ice age. 
So it just happened to be that Australia was drifting north at the same speed that the planet was cooling down. That means that we stayed the same temperature. We stayed in the same climatic zone because we drifted towards the hotter part of the Earth at the same rate the Earth was cooling down. Flat. That's where Steve Irwin died. Oh really? really? Yeah. How crazy is that? I know, the I don't know in the ocean, but that's where he was filming and got done by the stingray. But and then the they pulled one. him up. The flat one, oh, the yeah. little tiny one. It's called the Low Isles. Right? And then they pulled him up on the beach on the mainland, so just in the bay here, and that's obviously where he bled to death. And died. Oh my God. So this is the Daintree Rainforest. It is the oldest rainforest in the world. It is also the only place in the world where two world heritage sites meet. So this rainforest meets the barrier reef and there is nowhere else in the world where two world heritage sites meet like that, which is pretty insane. It's also insane the way that it formed, like he did just explain it on the bus. Like it is a crazy, crazy story how this like ecosystem has come to survive today. We are heading to Cape Tribulation Beach and I have never looked more fashionable actually. This might be the height of fashion influencing. It really could be. Subscribe and follow for more tips and tricks on how to look really nice when you're walking through the rainforest. It's not the weather, is it, Tom? Nope, hasn't been since we got to Australia, generally speaking. <laughs> We've had good. a lot of bad weather. We do seem to be uh, following around like either wind, rain. Go up north, they said. This would be good weather. It's said. not meant to be the wet season yet, but I think it might be the wet season. <laughs> I was wrong before. This is the point where the Dentry Rainforest meets the Barrier Reef. You can see it visually here two world heritage sites meeting because this is the reef off the coast of northern queensland um, and this is the daintree rainforest obviously up here in cairns insane it is beautiful behind you though it's so pretty tom drew me a love heart it's okay it was the thought that counted this incredible view this coastline is insane i have no idea there's loads and loads and loads of stacked up rock piles i guess these have been done by people they didn't just form like that but that is really odd is it just a thing here you come here and stack rocks also the sun has come out for the first time in two days big win hello guys tom is just working beside me but we have checked back into Gilligan's after our time at Uncle Brian's. I can't believe how much I already need my eyebrows dyeing. Like, where are my eyebrows right now? Totally besides the point. We have rechecked into Gilligan's. Please do excuse my lisp. I've got my retainers in right now. Um, we've actually treated ourselves. Tom always laughs at me when I wear my retainers. We've actually treated ourselves to a private room tonight just because we knew we needed to get a load of stuff sorted. Like, some contenty bit. We also needed to do a whole load of washing. And we also need to be up really early. So it just made made more sense if we sorted out our entire lives in the comfort of our own space this evening. This is our first private room in like two weeks, so Tom has no idea what I even just no, said. No, I do, I just don't really want me to say Well, that, so. as in when we were in Asia, we stayed on our own like all the time just because of the way the hotels and the hostels work. Like, I can't take you seriously with the retainers. Tom is so mean to me. I've done on occasion. I'm joking. Yes, no. It's been I, I, yeah. so insecure. But yeah, no, it has um, has been different to Asia because of the, the room situation. Mm, definitely. Um, it hasn't felt like... Um, like two weeks. No, oh my God, it's, it's gone, gone, it's so, gone so quick. And again, <laughs> oh. I've taken them out. To get, I've given it to peer pressure, guys, because someone's Sorry. calling me. The Uncle Brian's show was amazing, but it was so full on. We're really ready to go to sleep now. It's 10 p.m. We need to be up at 5.30. Another really early start, but it's okay. Because we're actually heading to Magnetic Island tomorrow. So that's going to be the next vlog. It's going to be so exciting. But I do want to give Uncle Brian's a huge shout out like if you are in Cairns and you want to do a tour where you're going to end up with a really nice group of people where you're going to end up with a really dynamic guide like all I can say is we had Charlie and it was a crazy experience like he was something else wasn't he just on another level like you th you think you know somebody who's like hyperactive and, hyper and doesn't stop 
talking like he was times 10 of that and it's not even an exaggeration no it's not it's like he just said every thought that came into his brain on like triple speed but it was so funny so yeah i really do recommend checking them out also the history that you learn is amazing as well like we're in such a historic and like to be honest just really really old part of the earth but the dane tree rainforest dates back so so far like longer than any human existence to the time of the dinosaurs pretty much and charlie was explaining why that was and it's basically i'm going to summarize it really quickly because Australia broke away from Antarctica at the same time as the Earth went into the second ice age. So the rest of the Earth cooled down in temperature, whereas Australia started to warm up because it was traveling up from the north of Antarctica at the same rate as the rest of the world was cooling down. So it never had a temperature change, meaning it never had a climate change really. Like in that second ice age that like killed our dinosaurs and like formed Earth as we know it today. That did not happen in Northern Australia. Like Cairns and the Daintree Rainforest kind of stayed exactly as it was in that ecosystem, which I personally think is so interesting. And I'm not somebody that's like really hot on science or like knows that much stuff about things like that. Like I can appreciate it, but I don't always understand it. But Charlie just made it so like engaging and like even I understood what he was saying. Hearing him say it and then walking through the actual like rainforest itself, I was like, this is the exact kind of learning that I love. Like I can see it with my eyes, so it makes it so much more of a big deal to me. That's just one example of how good it was. Also where we stayed was 10 out of 10. Like the lady there was so lovely. And it's now Christmas. And it's now December the 1st. Pretty accurate. <laughs> On that note guys, I'm gonna pop my retainers in and head to bed. I will see you in the next vlog, which is gonna be from Magnetic Island. Bye buddy. Bye. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> Bye guys.